This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. All right, um, I am uh, calling the meeting to order um, for the appointment committee. Uh, the date is July 27th, 2022. Um, the time is 5.30 p.m. Um, and I guess the first uh, agenda item would be public speak time. I do not see anybody here. Um, unless, Barbara, you'd like to comment on anything other than... <laughs> okay. Okay, um, so the uh, first thing that we will do is a committee reorganization. Um, in, since the last meeting, Councillor Rothschild, who was the chair of the committee, has resigned. Um, we now have Councillor Munier with us. Um, so the first process would be to nominate uh, a chair of the committee. I will make a motion to nominate Councillor Riley to be the chairperson of this committee. Can I get a second? Second. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and all those in favor? Councillor Gomez? I will say aye. Aye. I, and I guess I am an aye as well. Motion passes. All right. And then the second uh, order for here is to nominate a uh, clerk. Um, to be the minute taker for this committee. I can do it if you want. If we can do whatever, whatever you want. It's up to you. <laughs> he gave, gave him public safety, right? <laughs> okay. I'm on public safety, yeah. yeah. Okay, so then I will... Um, Entertain a motion from you, Councillor Munier, to nominate uh, Councillor Gomez. Yeah, I make a motion to nominate Councillor Gomez. Okay. I'll second that. All right. And uh, all those in favor, Councillor Gomez? Aye. And I'm an aye as well. The motion passes. All right, thank you. Um, okay, so then the next. Uh, agenda item is to approve the meeting minutes for uh, meetings that happened on May 11th and June 8th. Um, so I circulated the uh, meeting minutes for June 8th in email. Does anybody have any questions? No, I have to abstain because I wasn't there, correct? Yep, that's correct. correct. Okay. Yes, okay. Everything look good to you? Everything looks fine, so I will make a motion to approve the minutes from June 8th. Okay. Um, I will um, second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. <laughs> okay. And then um, I also went uh, back and watched the meeting from May 11th. Um, I don't have any issues with the meeting minutes from May 11th, so um, I will make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from May 11th. Second that. All right. And um, all those in favor? I, I, or I abstain. abstain. I have to say abstain to that too, right? right. Yes. Yep. Okay. Did Perfect. You send those to me already? Right. Um, I will at the okay. end. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm learning slowly. <laughs> no worry. Yeah. All right. Um, so before us today is the reappointment of Barbara Lombard to be the clerk um, to the city council with a term expiration date of August 31st, 2024. Um, I mean, listen, there isn't really much that I think we could possibly ask you um, that you don't already know. Um, you've been working on behalf of the city uh, for most of our lives. Um, so, you know. Well, only a clerk to the council only since ni since we became a city. And that was 1985, 96. Wow. And then when, uh, just out of curiosity, when did you start as the city clerk? What year? Um, it was actually the city clerk, it was about the same time. I think it was acting for 94 into 95. Yeah, in the office since 83. Okay. All right, so you've worked nice. It's a long time. <laughs> it is a long time. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so I mean, I guess, you know, if you just want to take a few minutes and, you know, talk about, you know, why you want to be the uh, clerk, why you want to continue That's a great question. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Well, I guess I've always thought right from the beginning that it kind of makes sense. Um, There's a lot of things that the council does that ends up in my office anyway, Mm -hmm. and I'd much rather be watching over you guys um, while things are happening than having to fix things later on. (laughs) I hate to say it like that, but... I think it just makes it more streamlined. Um, there are plenty of cities who have their own clerk, and then they, you know, coordinate with filing. I mean, I guess I think that it's doable the way that we do it. Um, not to say that someday down the road, you know, you guys might want your own clerk, but you're going to have to pay more. Um, <laughs> but I, I do think it, it overall makes sense because. It, it really comes down to record keeping, and a lot of those records end up in my office anyway. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. That makes sense to me. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, any counselors have any specific questions that you want to uh, ask? I, I do. <laughs> and it's basically for the public. If someone is going to watch this meeting, mm-hmm. what what do you do as a city council clerk? What is your job? Uh, well, I do handle all your agendas pretty much all of the agendas, committees, and the full council. I take the minutes. Um, I certify all the votes that come out of the committee. I keep track of all of the financial appropriations, making sure everybody signs like you're supposed to, get getting it, those appropriations to the proper departments afterwards, um, for ordinances. Um, I make sure advertisements are done correctly. Afterwards, I update the, the city ordinances with what was voted. Um, you know, maintain all your minutes, handle your bills, the budget. Um, Thank you. Very much. And um, being sure that we have the right motion in front of us, too. <laughs> especially for finance, <laughs> right? Yeah. Because finance is really important to have the right motions. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I mean, all the I motions mean, may. Have to be per good, right? But some particular motion have to there be are, more there are, like clear bonding than, and borrowing, which yeah. I, you know, the bond council makes the motion. Um, as far as regular appropriations, you know, it pretty much comes from the paperwork yeah. that, that comes. To yeah, thank but you. sometimes there are. You no, know, I assist with motions because sometimes I probably have more experience in wording of a motion than right, right. you guys do. Yep. So. In, um, and I think this is related to that. The clerk, the city council clerk, should have the motions and the seconds by writing. Mm-hmm. Most of the time we don't do it, and I don't know how she don't scream at us because <laughs> we don't do it. Uh, but we're supposed to uh, by right. rules, even by rules, we have right. rules. Right. Well, any amendments. An, an amendment should be by writing. Right. Give it to the city uh, city council clerk and to the council president. Now, lots of times, you but, know, it's easy enough to do. Yep. But when it's something like an ordinance or anything that's complicated, we or sure if there's multiple amendments, um, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be responsible for mm-hmm. me making a mistake. Mistake. But, you know, it's too much to keep it. So mm-hmm. that's why the rules require it to be in writing. Mm-hmm. Right. And I'm kind of flexible about it, but you know, there are particular instances where yep. I want it to be in writing to cover myself and. Yeah, sure. And, and we appreciate that you're flexible, but but to protect everybody, right. we right. should follow. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. financial like yeah. supplementals, and I don't need. Yeah. If I just, you know, we Dan reads off the paper, and I just write it off the paper. <laughs> but, and this the, and this conversation, I think, is good for for both for the, you guys are new counselors. Right. right. They knowing what is uh, Barbara's job uh, as a city counselor. Right. Yeah, the motions are especially important for like ordinances yeah. because sometimes there's like little word changes, little tiny, mm-hmm. you know, small adjustments, things that are. No, that's good though. I mean, there's there's so much, um, I guess, institutional knowledge mm-hmm. that you have, like you said, that just yeah. some of us wouldn't yeah. even begin to. Which you know, pretty soon you're going to have somebody that's not going to have that institutional knowledge, so they're going to be. You know, it's going to be, uh, there's going to be a learning curve again when the next person comes along. Yeah, yeah. And me as a council president, I use that a lot. When you see me, 
Why bother? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have, to, I have to say, for parliamentarian stuff, I really rely on Dan. And yes, yeah, 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 right, right. I, yes. But sometimes I have questions. Yeah. And yeah. he is yeah. far away, so. Right. I say, Barbara, are we allowed to do that? <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> All right, I mean, look, there isn't really much that we could possibly ask. I mean, you, you've demonstrated your ability to do this time and time again longer than we've been around so you know without any objection um, I'd like to entertain a motion to um, to approve Barbara Lombobard to the clerk to the City Council with a term expiration date of August 31st 2024 so move all right second. Second. Yes. Second. Second. all right and then all those in favor Aye. 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 All right, the motion passes. So I got a question for you. Sure. A minute ago, we were going to make a motion. Remember, we made a, made a motion to nominate you to be the, the clerk, right? right? Yep. For this committee. What if I had made a motion to do that and he didn't want to be the clerk? That's what I was worried about. I would. What do you do in that situation? I would explain that. When you make a motion, he, well, I second it. Because I can second it and then I can say no. He will say we have a motion and a second and further discussion. So when we have that further discussion, I will say, I don't want to do it. Okay. You know, I don't have the time to do it. Can you please withdraw the motion because I don't, or can we say no because I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he gonna give me the opportunity to the members of the committee to talk about it, about that motion. So it's a motion and a second, it's a further discussion. Right. And in that further discussion, if we don't have anything to say, he's now. If we have something to say, like, I don't want it. I, I'm super busy. I, I'm really bad with whatever. And uh, we will have the opportunity to say no. Oh, OK. I was wondering about that. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm the, sorry that I answered. No, that, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> um, now, I will say that the good news is, at least for in terms of other committees, this is one of the least heavier yes, yeah. minutes related uh, committees. I took the minutes at the public safety meeting and I was wondering, like, when do I have to submit those by? Um, we can. Let me, let's finish this meeting and then, and we then I will answer that. She'll, right. she'll be the one that. Because it's not part of the agenda. <laughs> all right, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so I mean, I guess there really isn't any other um, business before us, so. Um, if everyone is all set with that, I'll uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. To move. Yeah, second. All right. And uh, all those in favor? Say aye. I like this aye. better than the rule call. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the motion passes. Uh, the meeting is officially adjourned at 5.43 p.m. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.
This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.